Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Aurelio Ariza from uh, the Autonomous University of Barcelona, Spain, and I will be moderating this webinar together with Professor Alex Rishka from Charles University in the Czech Republic. First of all, we would like to thank the attendees, all of you, the speakers, uh, also the personnel in the ESP headquarters in Brussels, as well as the support received from AstraZeneca, particularly AstraZeneca Spain. You know that uh, about one month ago, more or less, we had our first webinar also on COVID-19. This is the second webinar on COVID-19, but the approaches are quite different. Uh, the first webinar was about general aspects, so biosafety issues were considered, also how we confront the challenges uh, posed by the, uh, this new COVID-19 pandemic to our departments, how we reorganize ourselves, uh, and uh, many other general considerations. Whereas this second webinar, also about COVID-19, will be rather focused on uh, certain issues. The first will be how do we detect the virus in the tissues, the cells that we receive in our biopsies, autopsies, cytologies? How do you identify the virus? And uh, to address that question, we'll have Professor Susanna Varga from Hospital Zurich in Switzerland. And then uh, the second topic will be about uh, pathology findings, but limited to two systems. We don't have time for everything. You know, many interesting things are coming up in the different uh, organs, such as the skin, the GI tract, the CNS, uh, pediatric pathology. But today we'll concentrate just on the uh, respiratory system and the cardiovascular system. Why those two? Well, lung pathology is uh, the prima donna of uh, COVID-19 pathology. And then cardiovascular pathology is kind of the rising star in this context. And uh, to talk about those two uh, topics, we have two persons from the same department, the Department of Cardiothoracic and Vascular Sciences in University of Padua, and those are Professor Fiorella Calabrese and Professor Cristina Basso. So after Susanna and Fiorella and Cristina are done with their interventions, we'll have our general uh, discussion. Uh, and that discussion will be based on the questions that you may ask uh, on those subjects. So please limit your questions to detection on one side or respiratory and cardiovascular pathology on the other. Uh, then there are many, as I said, many tissues affected by COVID-19, but we'll deal with those in future webinars. Uh, today, those, uh, those two topics, please. Um, and also, uh, please be advised that not all of you can send and type questions to us. There are about 100 people, and they know who they are, who can type questions and comments and will answer those. But then up to 1,000 viewers cannot interact with us. They just have to relax and enjoy their watching and their listening, okay? Uh, one more thing that I would like to say before just uh, handing the podium over to uh, Alish, this virtual podium, is that uh, in the upcoming issue of the ESP newsletter that uh, you receive uh, in July, mid-July more or less, uh, there will be more information about these ESP webinars, what we pretend to do with them how you can actively participate in them. Uh, and that will be mainly through your working group channels. So uh, just pay attention to that issue of uh, the uh, newsletter and you will get a lot of interesting information uh, over there. So without any further ado, I will uh, just leave the podium to uh, Alex Rishka for any additional introductory remarks 
and the introduction then of Susanna uh, Barra. Thank you so much for uh, being with us uh, this afternoon. Thank you very much, Aurelio. Good afternoon, everybody. It's my great pleasure and honor to co-chair this webinar uh, focused on deadly disease, which we never thought about, uh, let's say, half a year ago. We thought that everything in the future is bright and easy, and uh, just a couple of weeks later, this uh, pandemic started, and we had to learn a lot. We had to learn not only how to work, under these changed conditions, but we also had uh, had to learn how to uh, how to detect the viruses in the tissue and. Uh,